Okay, if you would go ahead and read the article in the September 2013 in The Economist, The Rebirth of the Diesel Engine. You want to read through it first, get an overview, and then after you read through it, you want to go through and find two variables that are related. You want to write a paragraph explaining those variables, and then you want to um, draw a graph explaining or reiterating what you said in your paragraph. Amy, what do you have? For x-axis, I have weight. Weight of vehicle, right? Uh-huh. Weight of vehicle, uh-huh. And then for y-axis, I have efficiency. Efficiency. Miles per hour. Efficiency, OK. So my variable efficiency depends on the weight of vehicle. Is that right? Or does the weight of vehicle depend on efficiency? Yeah, efficiency depends on weight of vehicle. What is this in? What are you? What are your units here? Pounds. Pounds. And what are your units here? Miles per gallon. Okay. So then, what's the graph? All right, well, so who thinks those two things are related? And it's really not your opinion. It's does the article state those two things are related? Okay. So they are. I have, do I have a graph correctly? And then what does your graph look like? It's a negative slope. Negative slope. What kind is it a curve like that? No, it's a linear. It's a linear function. So it's a straight line coming down. How do you know it's linear? Um, because in the article it says that for every ten percent reduction. Ten whoop, ten percent reduction of weight. Of weight. Results in a boost of four percent fuel efficiency. So 4% increase in fuel efficiency. Everybody there? Everybody think this is linear? Gavin? Uh, uh, I had a question on my own. Okay. Is everybody good on this? Oh, you know, it's a great, great example. Depending on how you label this, it could be inverse. As weight of the vehicle goes up, efficiency goes down. Or, Josh, how did you label this axis? Uh, percentage of weight subtracted. So this is percent. So you still did weight of the vehicle, but percent of weight decrease or subtracted. And then what did your graph look like? Um, it was up instead of down. Uh, up, like that? Yeah. Was it linear? Yeah, it was linear. Yeah. Both of those are right, right? I mean, it could be direct in red if your axis is labeled as weight <coughs> decrease. It would be inverse if you labeled it weight of vehicle pounds. Questions on this? All right, Gavin, let's take a look at yours. And then you get to write a supporting paragraph kind of describing that. So Gavin, what do you have? Um, I, on my second graph, I have power loss. Or, uh, power loss is dependent on Power loss? Yeah. OK, power loss depends on what? Heat. Heat. Remember, this is what you take from the article, not what you know. OK. So power loss depends on heat. So what are my units here? Degrees. Degrees Celsius. So I put the power loss in joules or columns? Or should I just leave it as a generalized percentage? If it's up to you, it's really how you decide to label it. If you want to measure power, how would you measure power? Horsepower. Yeah, you would, you would do horsepower from zero to 500 horse or whatever, right? If you do power loss, you could do that in how, horsepower or you could do it as a percent. So it's really dependent on how you want to lay September 7th to 13 in The Economist. And here are some of the paragraphs with the graphs.